Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jerry of 3D HP. Yeah, I done it again. <laughs> I got another resin printer. I already have the original Elgu March. It prints great and I love it, but it's small. So then I bought the Prozen Mighty 4K and I've been printing quite a bit with it. And a lot of people are telling me, said, hey, you should have bought the Anticubic Photon Mono X. It's an awesome printer. So I went over on Amazon. They're $899.99. There's a little box you can check and you save 100 bucks. So I got it for $799.99. And I'm excited to open this up, see what we got, and start test printing. This is so cool. And then I'm going to have three resin printers. So, I mean, if you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I got a zillion FDM printers. This is my third resin printer. I love printing in resin. It's awesome. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that messy. So let's get to unboxing and see what we got.
Alrighty, the first print just got done. Lattice cube test print. Let's check it out. Wow, came out nice. Very fine, di very fine detail. Very nice. <laughs> Alrighty, flash is done from Photosmith. Let's see what we got here. That oh, looks nice. So you can see it on camera. Yeah, I printed that in clear resin for the simple fact that right now on Amazon, the Strytech Clear is cheaper than the gray by like six or seven bucks. But it, it, once it's, uh, I'll clean it mean green real good, go over with IPA, completely dry it out. And once it's dried out, then I can UV cure it. And then we'll get a, a prime, prime and gray, and then I can paint it. Yeah. And this cool little spatula is really angled for getting underneath these prints. Find some place to get under it at. There we go. And if that don't work, I got a built tech. There we go. Built tech spatula I can use. Got a finer tip. Alrighty, I've got it moved into my resin room where I keep all my painting supplies and my uh, K40 laser. And I've got my Elgu Mars set up on the left there. And then I got the Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K and then the Anticubic. And uh, the Anticubic is sitting just slightly taller. It uh, looks good. You can see through the case and things are printing. A lot easier than you can on the darker, on the Frozen. But And those prints just came out amazing here. I've got this prime so you can see it better. But yeah, the detail came out great. I mean, resin printer did great. It came out really good. Came out very nice. And the lattice cube. And then the mini 
by Artisan. I don't have them glued together yet. I just cured them. They've got to be glued together and then primed. But yeah, amazing detail. Not really good. And I have not tried the Wi-Fi capability. capability. Supposedly you can start prints and things from uh, your cell phone. I noticed that when I was in a cheetah box, there was a setting in there when I was using a slicer about network connectivity. I haven't tried it yet. I'm not sure how that works. So that'll be for another video. But yeah, the machine is rock solid. It's built like a tank. I've had zero issues with it. And uh, hopefully I never will. I mean, I've had a... Plenty of problems with the frozen on different resins and settings and things, but so far so good on Anacumic. Um, it may all be operator error, I don't know, but yeah, it's a great addition to my uh, fleet here. So then over here I've got a couple little curing stations. I got a homemade one back there in the corner, and then a small one that I reviewed a while back. And I've got my uh, ultrasonic cleaner I keep Mean Green in. Pickle, pickle jar full of IPA for small projects. And I've got a tub back there that I put IPA in for cleaning products or cleaning different models. But yeah, uh, it's a great printer. So we'll see how things go. I've got many more videos to come. So everybody, please like, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And there will be links to everything that I've talked about here in the description below, plus other great discounts. So thank you very much and happy resin printing.